So hi Bethan, um, I'm saved from Ibiza again. I'm down there now in the south of south of the island, and I'm with the guys from Old J uh, who are playing here. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. Um, so you played Mallorca Rocks last night. Reports from last night and this morning sounded like it went really well. Yeah, it did go really well. It was a really good gig. Uh, we had a great gig. It was fun. Everyone there were having a great time, and I think we kind of just got. Um, pulled a lot of that kind of enthusiasm off the, off the crowd and brought it on stage and, and then afterwards we got really messy so it was fun. Cool. Um, you just sound checked. Um, looking forward to tonight? Can't wait to play. Yeah, it's, it's so these are such cool settings to play in New York and Ibiza Rocks hotels. They're quite unlike any other gig really so it should be a good one. Cool. Um, it must seem like a bit of a weird mad year. Um, Basically, with the album going top 20, you're now being tipped for the Mercury. Um, it's gone from sort of not zero to, to mm. hero, but it must have been a bit weird so far. Definitely. It's, it's hard for us to gauge how well things are going, really, because we're kind of like, we're, we're, we're so much at the centre of it that we don't really know what's going on around us in terms yeah. of hype or buzz or whatever. So. Which is quite nice, really, but yeah, it has been a tremendous year. I, mean, yeah. I think we were, um, when we created the album in January, we were quite proud of the album. We were, we were confident that fans of ours, before we released the album, would like the album, but we certainly didn't expect the reaction we got from the general public. Um, so, uh, yeah, it has been a bit of a whirlwind, actually, the, um, from that kind of that angle. Cool. Um, and also, it seems like you've toured constantly since... Basically, end of April, beginning of May, you've done Spain, you went to Japan, you've done all the festivals, you've done your own UK tour at the beginning of May. Um, how are you adjusting to life on the road, basically? It's not too bad, you do have to adjust to it, definitely. At first, I found it quite tough, but kind of settle into it, really, and just work out when you need your own time and when you want to have a party and try and balance it like that, I think. Read lots of books, have some good magazines on the tour bus and uh, eat as much fruit as possible. Yeah, specific videos on the bus? Or... Uh, well, could The Good Wife. Oh, uh, uh, The Sopranos we've been getting the into. Sopranos, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Lots of series, TV yeah. series yeah, and exactly. stuff like yeah, that. It's yeah. the most appropriate thing to watch, really, when you're doing long journeys. Well, um, and then after here, obviously, you're doing best of all. Then you're doing what, Holland, mm. and then back to the US, yeah. um, and then your October tour, which you finish obviously in January, um, and then you've got your own headline tour in May. Yeah. Mm. Um, what are you going to do after that? Just chill out? Uh, and I think we're going to do some writing. Yeah, that's the plan. I think after that, after the May tour uh, and yeah. the festivals. It would be good to get some time to work on some new stuff, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, to close, uh, I've chosen something good from your amazing sessions. Thank you. Oh, cool. Um, so, thanks for taking time out. No, thank you. Enjoy the gig. Cheers. Um, I'm sure it'll be a, a blinder. And thanks very much. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot.